Hi there, if you've been following my Accord a Day series, then by now you've got four chords under your belt. You've got C, A minor, G and E minor. And in this practice tutorial, what we're gonna do is look at G and E minor, and we're gonna put those two chords together in a very simple chord progression to get you going. And we're also gonna look at how you can change between those two chords to make it easier for you. So the G and E minor, sounds like this and I'm going to play one bar of G and one bar of E minor and repeat that a couple of times see if it sounds familiar to you one two three four G two three four E minor two three four G two three four E minor two three four does it sound familiar this uh, pairing of chords Because G and E minor, so a major chord to a minor chord, this is a very, very common progression to use. And in the C to A minor video, I showed you Anna, That's Entertainment and Heart of Glass. And you could do those exact same songs, but not a second time, uh, is by the Beatles. And it starts off with G and E minor. It goes, you know you made me cry. I see no use in wondering why. There's also a really good Elvis song that I, I really love. Uh, it's uh, his latest flame. And again, it's G and E minor. A very good friend came by today because he was telling everyone in town. And it's just G and E minor. And a lot of songs from the 50s and the 60s, rock and roll songs, do what type songs, they use that major to minor progression. And if you're practicing steadily, you know, and you're listening to a lot of music, maybe you're starting to recognize it in music that you're listening to. Let's look at how we can transition between the G and the E minor. Now in the tutorials for this, uh, and if you haven't seen them, there's links down below uh, that you can check out. I showed you three ways to play G and I showed you two ways to play E minor. Now let's look at the first version of G and E minor and using the fourth, third and second finger for the G and the second and third finger for the E minor. So when you play this chord and you change, something similar is happening, something similar to the C to A minor chord when we change from C to A minor. What happened was these two fingers, the first and second on the C and the A minor, are, are fingers that are in common to both these chords. And the same applies with the G and the E minor. The finger, the second finger, is the one that's in common, and it's the finger that's gonna keep you anchored to the fretboard. So when you change, when you take off these two fingers, lift them up, what you're now gonna do is you're gonna slide down just a touch to give your, give a little bit of space for you to tuck in that third finger on the second fret, and the frets are these metal bars, of the D string or the fourth string. And so then when you go back from the E minor to the G, E minor to the G, that second finger stays on the fretboard but will slide up a little bit so it's just behind the fret, and then you'll put the rest of the chord down, second finger and the fourth, uh, third finger and the fourth finger on the third frets of the two end strings, the first string and the sixth string. So that finger, second finger, keeps you anchored on the fretboard. And the same will apply if you're using this version of G, where you've got the third finger, second finger, and first finger, and it's that first finger that's gonna keep you anchored. So if you use that version and this version of E minor, you will see that your first finger slides down and touch, and you've got that little bit of daylight between the fret and your finger, and you'll tuck in your second finger onto that D string, that fourth string. And as you go backwards and forwards from the G, to the E minor, you'll see that first finger sliding back, sliding down, and then sliding up, sliding down, and sliding up. 
However, if you're using that easy version of G, now it's a good way to get you started, but the problem is if you go from G to E minor, doesn't matter which version you use, you're gonna be taking this finger off, and for a moment, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be all over the place because there's nothing keeping you um, uh, anchored to the fretboard. So you you know, as soon as you take this finger off, your fingers are everywhere, you know, and you might have a little bit of drama getting from that G to this E minor. So maybe if you are using that version for the moment, maybe it's time to think about changing and using the, the full sixth, str sixth string versions of the chord, whether it's this version or this version. And plus it will also give you a nice fuller sound. Let's talk about a chord progression and the chord progression is just G and E minor, as I mentioned before, one bar of G, one bar of E minor. And the, pat, the strumming we're gonna be using is the same as we did on the C to A minor, but I'm not gonna to try to explain it again and mess that up. So here it is on the screen. You can see we've got five different patterns here. And I'm gonna demonstrate this for you, and then we will do it together. One, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four. So that's the pattern we're gonna practice. And as you can see, some of the bars we are playing just one beat, some of the bars we're playing just two beats, and, some, and one of the bars we are playing just, we're playing all four beats. So let's have a go together, you and me. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. So G to E minor. Beautiful chords, lovely open guitar chords, and they're really terrific beginning guitar chords, and they're used in so many songs. So I hope you're putting in a lot of practice, and you know, if you've missed any of the uh, A Quarter Day guitar tutorials, then click the link right here. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Happy strumming.